Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun review coming up. It's the 1 6 scale Nero from Devil May Cry 5. Uh, this was released by Asmus Collectibles. Let's not waste any time and let's get into it. First off, let's look at the art box. The box is very simple. It's uh, primarily gray. Whoops. Sorry, I uh, put the bottom box in upside down. You guys didn't see that. Anyways, uh, primarily gray with an image of Nero on it. Nothing too special with the box. Also, let's do something different for this review. I thought it would be fun to rate different aspects, just like the game Devil May Cry. I feel this art box is rated BADASS! Next up, we have Nero's accessories. We have a few options here. First off here is Nero's necklace. Nothing too special. I do feel the details are kind of muted due to how small it is. It's fine as it's only going to be noticed if you are specifically looking at the figure for it. We have an extra right hand for his Overture Devil Breaker arm. It's very soft plastic and very bendable. It's got some really good paintwork. Then we have a Gerbera GP01 Devil Breaker. It's got fair detail on here. Paintwork is... it's fine. There's a metal piece or a magnet to attach it to the arm. It's got a clenched fist and it's not really articulated. And it's got a... looks like a wrist twist. Then we have a punchline devil breaker. Again, it's uh, soft plastic. Got uh, you can actually insert the sword or gun in here. Paint is uh, paint is okay. Not too bad and soft plastic. We have a Buster Arm Devil Breaker. Now I did find this one to be a bit problematic. The paint is fine, the details are fine, but when you're trying to move the fingers, they would just sort of detach due to the how soft the plastic is. Could be because the socket holes are a bit too small, or the pins are a bit too big. Uh, I'm not really too sure. This is like all the fingers. This isn't just just one or two. This is pretty much all of them. It's kind of unfortunate because it would have been cool to pose it with this option, but I'd rather not go through all the trouble. It's just just going to fall apart. We have a left neutral hand. The paint on his hands are real nice. And there's a gun holding trigger hand. And a hand to hold a sword. Here we have Nero's gun. It's very cool. The barrel rotates. Very nice paint, very nice details. Hammer is not really functional, but it's all good. Then we have Nero's sword. Again, very nice detail and very nice paint. Really good sculpt work here. The 
base is just a standard base. I've seen the same one with a couple of their releases. There's nothing too special with it. It will pretty much do the job. Well, the accessories I feel were good. The chosen Devil Breakers, Devil Breakers make sense. But with the unfortunate Buster arm taken into account, I have to rate this A. Crazy! Next, let's have a look at the details on the figure. Mira has a very cool design. Um, it's somewhat asymmetric. It's got buckles, zippers, and pockets. He's got one gloved hand, he's got a devil breaker. It should be noted that his devil breaker arm is longer than his left arm. I believe it was like that in the game, so it's not really something unusual, but it should be noted. The head sculpt looks alright. Kinda wish his neutral look was a lot less neutral. It's got nice color on the jacket. It's got some black faux leather going on with pretty nice stitching. I really do like the material I used for the sweater vest thingy. It certainly looks warm. The insides of the jacket are sort of nylon. There's a sort of stretchy cloth beneath the Beneath the double breaker on the elbow. Looks like a functional zipper, uh, but because the jacket is pretty snug, I don't really want to close it up or anything. Nice material on the pants, very good detail on these boots. Excellent sculpt, excellent sculpt work. I do appreciate the details on the bottom of the boots themselves. Then there's some sort of soft plastic belt around his waist. And we've got a loose thread here. Looking at the sweater, there are holes. Uh, I guess to simulate how tattered the clothes are in the game. There's uh, no pockets in the inside jacket uh, or anything. The sleeve of his jacket is rolled up on the, the left side. Got some nice details on the ribbing. And he's got a bracelet on his left wrist. I forgot to mention, the figure comes with this plastic piece to help holster his sword. There's a magnet on his back and a magnet in his piece. I kind of wish the Devil May Cry 3 Dante that uh, was released earlier came with this feature, but oh well. Nero also has a hood, just in case, I guess, if it's raining. At first the hair looked kind of odd, like it would give me the heebie-jeebies, but it's fine for what it is. I do wish there was more paintwork with the face though. But overall, great details on this figure. I definitely rate it A. SMOKE IS SEXY STYLE! Let's look next at articulation. The head can turn left and right. Uh, you can also look up, but it doesn't really stay up. You can look downwards, and it actually stays there, which is good. His arm can go up, 
and it sort of stays. The jacket kind of prevents it from moving forward too much. Looks like a double jointed elbow can go up really far. Got a twisting wrist. Now the devil breaker itself has a forearm twist. The left arm seems to do a better job of staying up. Probably because it weighs less. It's also got a wrist twist right here. Okay, and there's a, a slight ab crunch. You can bend back quite a bit. And there's some twisting side to side. Sort of. Can't do the splits with these pants on though. Leg goes out fairly far. There's a ratcheted knee here. There's no sort of ankle articulation due to the boot. You can twist it around though. So yeah, articulation is pretty decent, I would say. I'd probably rate it. Badass. Something I forgot to note. His face sculpt looks a lot like AEW's Cody. I mean, the mouth, the eyes, the hair. Wait a minute. So Nero is the son of Virgil, and Cody is the son of Dusty Rhodes, whose real name is Virgil. Also, the Devil Breaker has some articulation itself. You can pull out these wings for back of, the of a better turn out. The default hand for the Overture Devil Breaker does a better job in articulation than a buster arm. It's very slick. Oops. Sorry about the dog. He's always around guarding my collectibles. Anyways, Devil Breakers can be switched out. To switch them out, you just have to yank on it. And just line up the magnet and disconnect it. Easy peasy. Why are you hitting yourself? Oh, there we go. Looks nice. Let's switch out that overture hand. Just pop it off. And then you just twist the other hand on. It's a little bit of a tight fit, that's what she said. There we go. Now I'm not sure what the purpose of this hand is. It's just soft plastic, it's not really poseable or anything. 
Maybe it's just there to do the John Cena. You can't see me. Now let's put the sword on his back. Again, you just line up the magnet with the plastic piece. And then you just slide the sword in. There we go. Nice and tidy. Here's a size comparison. Um, Nero scales nicely with Asmus Lady and Asmus Devil May Cry 3 Dante. It will definitely look real good in your Devil May Cry displays. So here's my final thoughts on the Asmus Collectibles Devil May Cry 5 Nero. I really like the details in the presentation of this figure. It looks nice displayed and it feels worth the price. I do wish for more paint in the face, the articulation is alright, and I can pose it for the most part the way I want to. The only hindrance is that the jacket is kind of restricting the arm. The buster arm unfortunately fell apart on me and I would rather store it than fiddle with it, which is really unfortunate. The accessories themselves feel adequate and the paint application on them I feel is above average. I do like the details on the clothing and the quality of said clothing. So it's it's above average it's an above average release. I do find with every release Asmus is improving what they know have been real challenges for them. At least this is what I see with their Devil May Cry releases. It's not a perfect release at all, but it is worth what I paid for, and with the amount of 1-6 scale figures that are out there, I feel that is really important. Anyways, like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. Hope you enjoyed the video, until next time.